next tutorial, tutorial number five, and this is a new sample uh, questions for practicing for CSWA, and this is our first question, and the uh, unit is in MNGS, so we go to our SolidWorks, my previous one. Close. We can save it. So Control N. It's a port MNGS. Millimeter, grams, and second. So go to the PDF. And so we look at this. So this is the part of dimension. There are some clues on this drawing. So. <coughs> First thing we need to do is to make the cube. Okay, so we choose the front face, we draw a rectangle, choose this. B is how much? B, B, B is 70 millimeters, so enter 70. And how much is A? A is 50. Some wires are going in my way. <laughs> sorry for that. So, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it was this dimension, 67. So, make this 67. Enter. Alright. 7. And now, a A A A is how much? Forgot again. A is fifty. Okay, press the shortcut key which is Q and add press fifty. Okay, enter and then enter our cube is made. Now select this face, press escape. Go down again. You can see there is some kind of slots. It's here. So we're gonna make these cuts. And what we're gonna do is to press B, the shortcut key for the center line. Choose this corner and this corner. Double click this corner and this corner, and then. Then what? Then escape. And then what? X. Press X. Put this in yours. Choose these two. Okay. And then it should be bidirectional. You don't need end cap. And the dimension is 4.8. Four point eight. All right. So we go to here, then choose line. Choose this point, this point, and this point. Double click. Choose this point, this point, and this point. Double click again. This, this, and this, double click again. This, this, and this, double click again. Then we need to trim all of this. Remove this, 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 oh, this. Alright, what we're gonna do now is to go deep by 1.5 millimeters. That is D, put 1.5. Things are going slow, I'm sorry. 5 and choose this, 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 this. Yeah, okay, 1.5, this is R. 
Right click, press OK. Make the cut the way we want it, hopefully. And now we are gonna make this circle with this kind of thing here. Draw a circle which is almost diameter 38. 38. How much is the distance of this cir circle? 27 from left and 27 from bottom. 27. And 27. We're gonna make some lines. First, make the lines. You cannot choose from the circle, but you will go crazy. So, you choose first this corner and then you go straight and you get this line. Double click again. Click here. Click here. And click on here. So got the line, now we can dimension it easily so the vertical line is how much? 19 this is 19 and everything else would sit into its place once we know it's the center line <coughs> that means it needs to be symmetric so what we're gonna do not the point, I'm sorry, <laughs> the center line. This is another way to get the center line. I'm gonna put it here, doesn't matter actually where exactly it's gonna be. Choose this line, this, and this center line. Three things should appear. Okay, it appears, symmetry, symmetry. So, <coughs> it's all black, that means it's fully defined. Fully defined is the good news, but not the end of the story, we need to change something that is this and this. It is still fully defined, that's not good. Press B, press the right click button, right through all, right click again, and right click again. Press to explore, okay. So, we're almost there, and now there is a slot here that we're gonna do. It's on the same surface. So what I'm gonna use a rectangle. Okay, and from one corner, height is 3.3, 3.3, and length is 29. Okay, and dimension is from above is 12.5. So slow, but it's slow. It's still working. It is fully defined now, and we need to press B. Right click to all. Right click. Make the slot. And now there is another sketch here. If you remember, there was a circle on this top. 3.6. Diameter okay, 6.3. I'm sorry, 6.3. I'm at 8.3 from this side. And how much from this side? Okay, 3.5. 3.5 It's fully defined, that's very good. <coughs> Let it be. And let's 
good cut okay that's good so go up to next right click and med <coughs> med the hole now the more tricky part is this I don't know what they call it but there is this cut here circular car which you can see from here is here there are two circular cut okay and how much is its diameter 20 much more like 2 that means there are 2 slots of diameter 40 so you can draw it on here and later on you will see what I will do to transport it there so you draw from the center of this a 40 diameter and it's fully already defined as you can see from this that it's the center is all the same this is this this another tool that James comes to this slot and how far it is it is 12.5 from the surface okay 12.5 from surface so what we're gonna do press D again but this time you choose offset by how much 12 okay check check this check this not this side you don't want to be 12 this side so change the direction and again change this direction so as you can see it's 12 from the end and then 1.5 from that end 1.5 from that end to up there click ok and it did it for us now there is the 42 from that place there will be another one of the same size which is 1.5 typical so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to this sketch and then not edit sketch I did <laughs> mistake sorry you go this sketch click on this then press cut extrude again and then offset this time is 12 plus 42 so put here 12 plus 42 enter change this direction but this time it is 1.5 from this side to the other side so you don't have to change the other side direction you see it's in the right direction so press ok and we made the part now what we're gonna do is to change check check what's the material it's AISI 1020 right click here edit material AI SI 1020 apply 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 and then close and then check the mask one one two seven one one two seven point seven three and it's the correct answer <coughs> so very easily you can get all these parts done just all these tricks that I'm showing in here if once you know you'll be able to pass the test very easily okay guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in my next tutorial in in the way uh, way to pass the swa test thank